Hey, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your own dowels. That's right. Now, you're probably wondering, can't I just go to the big box store and buy dowels? Wouldn't that be easier? Well, not necessarily. Here's the problem. You go to the big box store, they're gonna have one of two options. They're gonna have either these pine dowels, and if you're lucky, they might have some oak dowels, usually red oak. But what if you're building a project out of walnut and you don't want pine or oak dowels in there? What if you're building a coca bola desk and you want coca bola dowels to match? Where are you gonna get your coca bola dowels? <laughs> well, you can make your own. And I'm gonna show you everything you need to know to do so. And here's the cool part. You only need a few tools. You need a drill. You need some stock of whatever species you wanna make your dowel out of. You need a drill bit that is rated for drilling metal. And you need a piece of eighth inch thick steel. That's it. I'm gonna walk you through it, show you how to make your own dowels. And by the end of this video, you're gonna be a dowel and fool. Now, let's make some dowels. Step one, you want to drill a hole through your eighth inch steel. Now, it's important to note that whatever size drill bit you use is the size dowel that you're gonna end up with. So, if you use a 3 8 inch drill bit, you're gonna wind up with a 3 8 inch dowel. If you use, I don't know, half inch drill bit, well, you're gonna wind up with a half inch dowel. If you, you get the point. So, we wanna drill a hole right through the center of this steel. Now, most times when you're drilling through metal, you wanna use some sort of lubricant, oil, to make it easier. But we don't wanna do that here. Why? Because we wanna make the gnarliest, nastiest hole in this metal as possible, with lots of burrs coming off. It's actually gonna help the dowel making process. So, just throw it in there, drill a hole straight through. It's also important to note that I am using a drill press for this, because I have a drill press. But like I said, you only need a few tools for this project. If all you have is a hand drill, just use your hand drill. Drill a hole right through there. It'll work just the same, just easier. So I did it that way. Next, you're gonna wanna cut your stock down to as close as the size of the dowel you're making. We're doing a 3 8 inch dowel for this project, so we're gonna cut some stock down into a square that is just over 3 8 by 3 8 So. Run it through the table saw, just like I'm gonna do now. Now, there's really no point in dealing with a huge dowel when most of the time you'll need a short chunk. So, instead of having to fumble around with this huge thing, we're gonna cut it down into a more manageable size. Like that. I think it was Madonna who said, you can't fit a square peg into a round hole. And the, the concept applies here as well. So before we actually make our dowel, what we're gonna wanna do is taper down one end of the stock just a little bit so that we can get it started in the hole. And we also wanna taper down the other end enough that we can fit it inside of our drill. So I'm gonna do that on the belt sander, but you can do this with anything. You can do it with a chisel, you can do it with a pocket knife, you can do it with sandpaper by hand. This just is faster and I'm trying to film this video, so I'm gonna do it this way. All right, so we have our eighth inch thick piece of steel that we have drilled a 3 8 inch hole through the middle of it because we're making a 3 8 inch dowel. 
It's got a nice nasty burr on there, which we want. I will show you that in a second. And we have our stock from which we will make our dowel. For this dowel, I'm using clear vertical grain fur because I've been using that a lot in the shop lately. So might as well have some clear vertical grain fur dowels to go along with it. But like I said, you can do this with any species you want. So we have the one tapered end that we are going to start through the hole. And then we have the larger tapered end. The reason we do that is because we want it to be able to fit inside the drill. So you're gonna insert your stock into the drill, just like so, basically creating a very long wooden drill bit. And then we are going to simply pretend to drill through the steel just using the wood stock. And what should come out the other end is a dowel of a fur species. So let's do it. This is where that nasty burr comes in real handy because the burr is actually acting like a miniature chisel right now, chiseling away the excess wood and creating your dowel. Burrs, you never knew they could be so important. What? Did we just make our own fur dowel? Yes, we did. And that's how it's done. Now you have a nice, clear vertical grain fur that will match all of my fur pieces. You could make walnut, you could make maple, you can do whatever the flip you want. Now one question I get a lot is, yeah, but what if I don't want to deal with the end grain? Most dowels are cut in a way that once you flush cut the dowel, you're going to see all that exposed end grain. Maybe you're trying to do a little bit more of a grain matched dowel to match the piece that it's going into. Well, it's very simple. All you're gonna do is cut a bunch of small little pieces of the stock you're using and then glue them back together in a nice big block. Once that block is glued up, you can square it off and then use that giant block to cut your dowel from. That way, instead of having the end grain on the end of your dowel, you're gonna have that nice cross grain which will match your piece a lot better. You can do it any way you want. It's that simple. Drill, drill bit, metal, stock, make a dowel. I hope this helped and please subscribe to my channel for more stuff like this because I kind of like talking to you guys. <laughs> it's like a fun relationship. Okay, bye.